Have you ever been to Israel? If you love the Bible, it would most likely be a life-changing experience for you. Many people describe it as suddenly seeing in multicolor rather than black and white. Your understanding of the Word of God will be greatly enriched as you see with your own eyes where the most significant events in human history have taken a place. You can take a boat ride on the Sea of Galilee where Yeshua once walked, although you might not want to follow in his footsteps on the water. You can eat fish caught by fishermen in the Galilee, see the town of Capernaum and stand on the Mount of Transfiguration. You can go to Nazareth, where there is a village set up just as it used to be in the first century. You can drive through the Valley of Armageddon and visit Mount Carmel where Elijah showed the prophets of Baal that the God of Israel is the only true God. Then of course there's Jerusalem. You can walk up the Mount of Olives and overlook the city and pray for her just as Yeshua did. You can follow his path from the Garden of Gethsemane with its ancient olive trees to the area where he was crucified and buried. You can go inside the garden tomb and rejoice that Yeshua's body is not there. You can see the western wall where the Jewish people still pray for the Messiah and for redemption to come. You can see the original city walls built at the time of Nehemiah and the ruins of the temple where Yeshua and his disciples went to worship. You can visit the city of David and explore Hezekiah's tunnel. Then you could go down south to the desert, relax in the beautiful oasis of En Gedi where David and his men hid from King Saul. You could go for a float in the Dead Sea, visit Bedouin tents and ride on a camel. You can see the ancient Dead Sea Scrolls of the Bible and the place where they were found. You can experience the eerie and beautiful Judean desert where Yeshua fasted for 40 days and nights. You can see the very places where all your favorite Bible stories took place and even see original relics, evidence that these are not merely stories but historical facts. As well as visiting these ancient places, it is just as exciting to see the living stones of God's people worshiping in Israel today. Meet and encourage Israelis, Jewish and Arab, who love the Lord and are helping to expand his kingdom. By expressing love for God's people and appreciation for the land where the roots of your faith are found, you could even bring a blessing to Israelis who don't know the Lord yet. Many of them feel hated and misunderstood by the world. By coming in peace and love in the name of Yeshua, you could help them see that God has not forgotten them. Israeli people are seeing the love of Christian tourists and their curiosity is drawing them to better understand who Christians are and what their faith is all about. Talk to local people, hear their stories, their hopes for peace, their jokes and their fears. Real Israel is so different from what you may hear in the news reports. Come to learn about prophetic destiny of this country and how you can align your prayers with God's word and his purposes. This is the place that he has chosen as the focal point of his plan for humanity. Come and see a country of immigrants from every corner of the earth. God scattered them and then brought back to the land just as he promised in Ezekiel 36. With a Bible in your hand, you will be able to see how prophecy is unfolding in Israel today before our eyes. God is faithful to his promises. As you travel around Israel, reading about what is prophesied to come will add a new dimension to your understanding of the spiritual conflict coming in the end times. It's hard to describe what a profound spiritual effect this trip may have on you. You need to come and experience it for yourself. Israel is where it all began. It is where the Bible events took place, where the Messiah was born, and it is to Jerusalem that he will come back to establish his kingdom and reign over the whole earth. So get yourself acquainted with the land of your future kingdom, bring your walking shoes and your Bible, and prepare for the most extraordinary adventure.